Why, hello, everyone. I imagine you're wondering why I called you all here today. Well, it's for my second or third or something Dreadlocks 101 video. This video is going to talk about why and how shampooing your locks regularly is going to help them lock faster. By the way, for those of you who this is an issue for, when I say locks, I mean L-O-C-K-S, not L-O-C-S. I know there is a difference. I just don't like to always call them dreads because that has a negative connotation too. That's a different video. Just wanted to clarify. So, um, shampooing your locks makes them lock faster. It's true. And you may be thinking, but, but, but someone told me I'm not supposed to wash my hair for six months and, and if I made dreads and, and then I wash them, they'll awful out in the shower. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. Please listen to me as I explain why. So the first rumor is prevalent like a fucking disease all over the internet that says, if you want dreads, just stop washing your hair for six months. You know who says this? People who probably don't have dreads and don't know what the fuck they're talking about. That's who says this. If you want your hair to knot up, let's take a reality check moment. Which string will knot up more quickly? A dry, squeaky clean string? or an oily, slippery string. Which one will knot more easily? Ding, 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 the dry one. And your hair is like a bunch of little tiny strings, and if they're oily, they're not going to knot as quickly as if they were clean. Now, all hair will probably eventually lock up if you don't wash it, but the only thing you're really going to get from not washing your hair is nasty dreads and stinky, stinky, stinky scalp. And that's icky and it makes everyone look bad. So please, if you have this misinformation, admit that it was, it was wrong and learn and change your ways because it's never too late to be clean and cleanliness is close to godliness, except I don't believe in God. So that's a different story. All right. So yeah, the next thing, oh my God, if I wash my new baby locks, they'll fall apart. That's not true either. That's not true either. Unless, and here's my disclaimer, you have a very delicate setup, and the one that comes to mind is folks with type 4 hair um, who have set up comb coils. If you have comb coils set up, you should already know better than to scrub the piss out of your freshly little locked scalp, okay? So, if you have a fragile setup, don't scrub the piss out of your scalp. Gently wash it, but save the piss scrubbing out of your scalp for maybe one or two or three months down the road when you have noticed some locking take hold. And always do what is appropriate for your own hair type and your own scalp because you know you pretty well. All right, so with that little disclaimer, that little one, your baby dreads are not gonna come apart in the shower. It is normal for your dreads to, you know, I mine is locked down to here. If I scrub my hair, it's kind of normal for maybe this much to come undone, but that's not that much, and it's not going to attack this whole entire length of dread that you've got dreaded. It's just going to slightly, ever so slightly unravel. And you know, it doesn't make a big difference, and if it makes a big difference to you and you don't like it, you know an easy way to keep your hair from unraveling is to blunt the tips. I don't ever want to blunt my tips, so I'm probably not going to make a video on it, but Miss Hazorgzilla has a great video on how to blunt your tips, so I'll try to link that somewhere. Anyway, your locks are not going to fall apart when you wash them. In fact, it's going to help them tangle and lock up more. And I, you know, I help run Dreadlock Info, and my fellow admin KJ, like this whole time I've had this new set of dreads, has been gloating because I'm like, my roots are locking so fast because I'm shampooing. And she's like, I told you. And I was like, I know, you're right. Please gloat because you deserve it because I was wrong. And it's true. Shampooing my locks has really, really helped a lot in, in the locking process. They're two weeks old, and some of the roots feel as locked as they were at five months from my last set. And I'm not kidding, I'm not exaggerating, I'm not making it up. And you can see, and you can see in my videos that I haven't had these for that long, you know? But like, look at this root, it's, it's, I wish I had even a better camera so you could see, but like, I'm gonna pinch, I can't even really 
pull it apart. My roots down here I can pull apart like this, but all my, my roots up here, I can't do anything to them unless I, I really wanted to. They're locking up really fast. And now let me get on to how I wash my hair and what method I'm using to get my hair to lock up faster. This was not the intention. My intention was to be clean when I started doing this, but what happened as a happy byproduct is my hair is locking faster. Um, so what I do when I shampoo my dreads, because I started running Couch to 5K, great program if you're like a weak baby fawn like I am, you can totally do Couch to 5K as an aside. Um, but yeah, and so I get sweaty and icky and gross and I need to go take a shower. So I go take a shower and I wash my hair about, you know, three or four times a week. And that's great. It's good to do that. Um, so yeah, I go and I take the shampoo like this much, slap on top of my head and I scrub. And last time I had my dreads, I was noticing that um, this little area back here on my scalp would always just be a little oilier than the rest. So I decided, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to take a second helping of shampoo, flip my head over, and scrub like this. So I scrubbed like this on the back of my head. And finally I said, you know, I'm really sick of this blue color and I want it to come out, so let's just shampoo a third time. So I took more and I shampooed my hair a third time. And guess what? My roots started locking up faster. It's crazy and it's really great. So if you have if you have new dreads, my dreads are only two weeks old, they're tightly set up, and you want to shampoo the piss out of them, please do. It will accelerate your roots locking. I'm not kidding. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, and another thing that I have done is I put a mirror in my shower. It's like a round mirror and it sits right on my shower caddy so it's not gonna like slip through the bars and break and have glass all over the shower. Like don't set something up dangerous like that. But it just sets nicely and it can't fall through. So I use it to look in the mirror and make sure I'm getting all the soap suds out of my dreads, which is another thing I think probably helps to lock them. You'd be amazed how many soap suds you can have left in your dreads even when it looks like you have them all out. So try having a mirror in your shower and see what you can see. Um, so the reasons this shampooing works really, really well in my hair is because one, it's getting the oils out like I explained, and two, it's like doing an all over scalp root rubbing for like five to 10 minutes every time I wash. And, you know, your hair tangles when you shampoo it. When you didn't have locked hair, didn't you cry and cry if your mom didn't put conditioner in your hair and tried to brush it out? I know I did. It tangles it. So I just spend my time focused on my scalp. And then, you know, you always want to take a little bit of time to focus on the lengths, but where the most dirt on your head is going to be is on your scalp. So take your time. Take your time and scrub your scalp. That's where you should focus your attention. That's where you should focus on the dirt. That's where you should get clean. And that's where it's going to lock up really fast. It's like amazing. I will never stop washing my hair this much. I mean, you know, unless it gets a little bit dry. Because it's it's really helping my hair to lock. It's, it's kind of dumbfounding. I'm really shocked, to be honest. Like, yeah. And another thing. You can see up in my hair that this hasn't destroyed my locks, it hasn't destroyed my parting, it hasn't destroyed my sectioning, and it hasn't made all my locks turn into one giant Polish plaid either. So, you know, take what you will from this, but for me, this anecdote, my personal evidence on my head is enough for me to want to shampoo my hair regularly. And I want to clarify one last thing. The reason a lot of people don't wash their dreads every single day is because moisture gets retained in your dreads. And if you have constantly wet dreads and you wash them like every day and get them soaking wet every day and don't adequately dry them, that is something that can lead you to have a mildew problem. That happens in high humidity areas sometimes, really hot places it happens. But um, yeah, if, if you... Uh, if you get your locks soaking wet every day and don't give them time to dry, that's when washing your hair too much does cause a problem. Um, 
And tips for you about that are, you know, wash your hair in the morning and the early afternoon. So that way you can go out about your day. You can go and do your stuff and your hair will have time to dry out. I wash my hair. I wrap it in a towel for about an hour to soak up the moisture. And, and then I just let it drip dry because it's mostly dry by then. Never go to sleep on wet locks because it just holds the moisture in as you sleep. And that is what can lead to you having a mildew and, and, and ickiness. So don't make sure your locks get fully dry before you wash them again. That's an important thing. That's the that's like the one other caveat to washing your hair regularly. But you can totally wash your dreads three times a week. You can totally wash them every day if you want, so long as you completely get them dry before you go to bed and before you wet them again. Those are the important things. So um, I'm going to go shampoo my hair three times and enjoy this amazingness of locking that is occurring on my head. And if you think that what I said is stupid, I think that you should try it before you bash it. Because uh, I didn't try it before I bashed it. And now I'm like, oh, this is the coolest thing ever, my roots. I'm, I, yeah, I don't even, I'm starting to even get some loops on my roots. I have one over here that's already got like a little baby loop. Do you see that right right there? So they're making progress and they're only two weeks old. Wash your hair, bitches, you need to do it. Okay, okay, I'm done with this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.